another quick word for you. <clears throat> Listen, all we need <clears throat> is the favor and the protection of God. That's more than enough. Not money, not houses, not cars. See, when you got the favor of God, it'll bring any other thing, right? When you when you got the favor of God, and see, to get the favor of God is to get in his presence, seek his face, right? Seek his face. Seek the kingdom of heaven. And anything we need, it should be what added unto us. When you got the favor of God and the protection of God, God can do what the doctors can't do in your life. God can do what lawyers can't do in your life. God can do everything but fail. You understand? You see, the favor of God will bring healing. When the doctor said, there's no way, and you got the favor of God, He'll make a way out of nowhere. See, if money can't buy that. <clears throat> See, I remember my miracle aunt. Y'all know the story. When the doctors gave up on my miracle aunt, she didn't need money. God had already gave her prosperity. She had money. But she needed favor. See, she needed favor to restore the temple. The, the, the money couldn't restore the temple. And she had the favor of the father. And through, through his favor, he healed, he restored the temple. You see what I'm saying? When the doctors told me <clears throat> that I had endometriosis years ago and there was no cure. <laughs> Money couldn't do it. Education couldn't do it. Having successful friendships and all about who you know, a good network, that couldn't do it. See? And I endured and suffered with the pain for many years. It's like the woman with the issue of blood. But I needed the favor of God. So I sought him. I sought his face. I sought his word. I began to obey the health laws. And the favor of God came upon my life. It did what the doctors say that couldn't be done. Said there was no cure. Medical science says there's no cure. If you research it, you see there's no cure. But I'm healed. Never had a hysterectomy. Didn't have to get anything removed from my body. It's the favor of the Father. When you got the favor of the Father, he'll do things that man can't do. And when you got his protection, you know, many of you probably have been in situations where you can tell a testimony and say, I could have been dead and gone, sleeping in my grave. Like that song was a song. I don't know what song. I can't remember the name. But I heard it before. Could have been dead and gone, sleeping in my grave. I think um, I'm so grateful. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I'm so grateful by Harvey, right? Could have been dead and gone, sleeping in my grave. But Lord, you kept me. The protection of God. See, many of you, Daniel, stop it. Many of you had that testimony, could have probably had that testimony, but it was the favor of God. So anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to pop on here and say, all we need is God's favor and protection. And so when we pray, we need to pray for that. We need to pray, Lord, give me your favor. Show me your favor, you know, in all things and include God in all things. We need to pray for his favor, pray for his protection and also pray for guidance Teach me, give me my daily bread day by day and give me wisdom. Give me understanding, discernment and teach me, God. Teach me how to earn your favor every day, one day at a time. All right. And he'll teach us as he gives us revelation of his word. So anyway, people of God, when you got the favor of God on your life, it'll do things that money can't do. It'll do things that even the most successful person in this world can't do. It'll do things for you. You ain't got to have a big time connection. You ain't got to become back from a background going to an Ivy League school, having a degree. When you got the favor of the Lord upon your life, the favor of God can take you from the bottom to the top. And like I did a video a while back on the story of Joseph, hashtag, from the pit to the palace. Right? When you got the favor of the Lord upon your life, it'll take you from the pit to the palace. Look at what Job, when you got the favor of the Lord upon your life, Job was put on a bed of affliction. The enemy tested him. 
But see, the favor of God was on Job's life. So everything that the enemy stole, that the enemy took from him, not only did God give it back to him, but he gave him back to him more than what he had before. That's the favor of God. That's the favor of God. So the favor and the protection of God is all we need. All right? Have a blessed day, people of God. I love you.